you need to know where to wear what outfit to. You have to be able to buy stuff that you can style differently. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have quite an interesting topic for you besties. We're going to be talking about how to be a hot girl and the things you need in your wardrobe as a hot girl to show up and show out baby. To be a hot girl is not just about your body type or where you're from or all that. No, hot girl is about your genus de quoi. That's what we're talking about, how you carry yourself. And you know, we're talking about how to be confident. Now we're going to be talking about how to look confident because as Riri said, honey, even if you don't wake up confident, you have to fake it and today this video is sponsored by gt fashion week i'm super excited because you know it's fashion week baby so we got to pull up all the good stuff for you we're gonna start with shoes 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 i'm not much of a sneakerhead but i'm not gonna lie one thing i need in my wardrobe is running shoes because i love to hit the gym right and these running shoes are also what i used to travel because when i'm getting on the flight best believe i'm not gonna be wearing heels with sneakers get your comfortable shoes and honey don't go and stop buying red shoes how many times are you gonna be wearing red sneakers for crying out loud not so many times start with black maybe black with a stripe of white and then we go to heels which is my favorite part first of my clear heels my clear heels have gotten me through so much when it comes to fashion i wear them every single time i mean not all the time but between us quite often and i style them differently you have to be able to buy stuff that you can style differently when it comes to clear heels it is such a must in your wardrobe and then we're going to talk about black heels as well honey you need black of everything can we just start there yes black heels is a must as well because you can always style it differently and if you want to go a bit farther you can also get the white heels so white heels is also something i always have in my wardrobe black clear heels are like such essentials in your wardrobe if you're like me sometimes you seek comfort sometimes it's not always sneakers and heels There's, there has to be an in-between and that's where you find slippers i'll actually advise either you go with brown slippers or black slippers because that way you can style it with anything. Darling, don't go for white. White? Like, you can go for it if you have other options. But the issue with white is going to get stained. And how many times are you going to send it to the laundry? I don't think it's going to be that often. Next thing, we're going to bags. When you're investing in bags or trying to get a particular bag, I would advise that you go for the colors black and white. Those are two colors that you can never, you can never get it wrong with a black bag. Every girl needs a black purse, right? You also need your small bags and you need your tote bags. For me, this is my favorite bag in my wardrobe right now because I can wear it with anything. If I take off the lash, it could just be this, right? And I could wear it to a dinner, I could wear it anywhere. And then if I'm feeling casual, I can always throw it over. And you know, it's just, it's cute. So this is a tote bag that I love so much. I got it from Catele, Lace by Catele. I love it because I can always throw my iPad in, throw everything. And it's cute, it's clear, it's nice. If you want a bigger tote bag, you get a bigger tote bag that can have your laptop, your iPads and everything inside of it. I would definitely recommend to have a cute press like this. It mustn't be the same brand or whatever, but a cute press like this is so easy. So when it comes to pants, which are trousers, darling, come closer, come closer. As a hot girl, as a bad girl, what you need in your wardrobe, I'm not gonna lie, honey, you need leather pants, at least one. You know, it just ups your look in every way. When you have leather pants on, it's just like a, oh yeah, you know, she's cute, whatever. If she wears, whatever she's wearing, she's cute. She got some leather on, she's cute. But even still, when you're going farther, I'm not a jeans person, but I love, love, love my blue jeans sometimes because it's so comfortable. But yeah, no, I take that back. Jeans are not comfortable. Jeans are not comfortable. <laughs> but I love how it looks on certain items. I would advise to go for light wash blue jeans, right? They are perfect and you can style it with anything else. Also, also with pants wide leg pants are so in i love them you can wear them with a corset you can wear them with a crop top you can wear them with a big shirt another thing i would say regarding pants is you need your shorts and why i love biker shorts because you can throw it on a big shirt you can throw on a big shirt and biker shorts wear your sneakers or your slippers however you're feeling and you're good when you go into the movies you don't really need to do too much let me give you some tea there was a time i was going to the movies it was like a cute little day right and I wore like a very tight short dress. For me, that was casual. But when I got to my date, he's like, was this for the movie? And I'm like, yeah, he's like, okay. Like, and I felt a bit overdressed. You get, and as a hot girl, you don't need to overdo anything. You're hot because of the way you carry yourself. You need to know where to wear what outfit to. And then for pants as well, we have joggers, which some people call sweatpants. I honestly don't know the difference, but joggers are so comfortable for me, especially when I'm traveling or when I'm running errands. I love a cute joggers and crop top, honey. Like, and it's not about, oh, my tummy or whatever. Trust me, it's cute. Uh, are you going to have this body forever? You better rock it now like don't sleep on yourself okay don't do that i'm gonna go into tops and i'm gonna start with the one and only corsets 
honey corsets are so important in your wardrobe like ah i love them so much there's a way they hold your body and then they push up the, the little titties you know and then you can wear them with like pants you can wear them with like skirts like it's just such a diverse look to have i've got this particular one from being one fashion the other corsets i have i got it from opoli um white tops are so so i think that is the most important when it comes to tops i would not even kid like white tops really changed my fashion a lot because even whenever i'm feeling like i don't know what to wear all i have to do is wear pants throw in a white top wear shorts throw in a white top wear skirt throw in a white top so i have like white tops and I always sell them differently and you would never know because it's different right black tops are so essential and when I say black top I mean tank tops I mean crop tops I mean body suits they are so so essential in your wardrobe you need to invest in them honey right now as I'm talking to you go start investing in them because it will change your style up a notch t-shirts are so important like I just said about casual looks sometimes I love Kenzo t-shirts they are perfect or bomb one but then again you can have a simple plain t-shirt we're talking about things you can pair up with other things and when you throw on something out there like damn I look nice we're going into dress which is what I'm wearing I'm not much of a dress person I'm gonna be honest if I'm wearing dresses I love maxi dresses I feel like they suit my body more it's just classy like it's just what I love to wear if you're gonna go for a dress I would say black honey you need your little black dress I love a little like backless dresses white and black dresses why well, I don't really wear dresses much is because of how much I'm in love with two pieces when you buy two pieces right the best thing about it is that you can always style it differently you can style the top with a different pants or, or skirt or whatever and that's why when you have your white and black and brown tops right you can throw them on any of your two pieces and you're like boom new outfit boom new outfit you're like oh girl like okay it looks it looks one thing i love as well are like jackets blazers there's this particular jacket i own this jacket right here it was actually gifted to me by my girl thank you so much girl i love it so much one thing about this jacket you can throw it on anything literally anything and you still your look just changes automatically you go from looking Oh, I cute. So, oh, okay, that's classy. Oh, wow, who is she? Oh, wow, she means business. So, we're gonna talk about accessories. Accessories elevate your look. Like, accessories are what you need, honey. When you wear those earrings, when you wear those necklaces, when you even just put on, it could even be just like one bracelet on your look, just becomes boom. It's like, who is she? Like, and I would say for essentials, you need either a silver earring or a gold earring. I mean, mine is, you know, a bit flamboyant, right? Because of the look and what I was going for. I'm not much of an earring person, but I still have my cute diamond stud earrings, the really tiny cute ones, and cute golden earrings, and neck pieces. When it comes to jewelry, right after earrings, you need a neck piece, honey. Like, this is a Pandora neck piece that my friend gifted me. I'm so grateful for that. One thing I love about this is the simplicity, right? I could wear this so many times, and it would still be like a personal neck piece so when you're buying some kind of neck pieces essentials you always need a simple look that makes it seem like it's your own you know when you make a cute necklace and it's just like whenever people see you they're like oh yeah that, that's on her neck it's always on her neck you need a kind of neck piece like that even in gold and in silver right and i would definitely say if you can invest in some pearls pearl necklaces are so cute especially if you want a statement look right and then obviously an earring like this is so nice because sometimes you're going on a dinner date right like now and you know i could wear this simple small one it's, it's perfect it will work but i would definitely say if you could invest in that that would also be great and some cute bracelets that's all you need accessories are so important it goes from your ear to your neck to your hands and to your fingers you just need gold silver or diamonds we don't just do simple we do simple with class with ease and with somewhat some je ne sais quoi. When it comes to hair, every hot girl needs a black hair. You need a black wig. If you're a wig person like me, if you need an essential, you need a black closure wig. I'm a frontal baby, but I can't even lie. Sometimes I can't start installing frontals to go run an error. No. So I wear my closure wigs and boom, I'm ready to go out. And also, you need your hair essentials such as your hair straighteners your glue your gel your hairbrush your hairbrush one to have at home and another to be in your purse because you need a cute hairbrush always in your purse i don't want you to be outside in the restroom asking someone you don't know for hairbrush don't do that have it in your purse okay cool great next topic we're going to talk about my favorite part sunglasses as a hot girl when you walk into a room why are you having eye contact with everybody you don't need everybody to look in your eye no they only have to look at you they don't need to look at your eye honey especially when you're out at night i know you might seem like why you wear sunglasses at night it doesn't make sense yes it does when you're in the club when you want to have fun 
you need your shades on and you need to know the shades that work for you i love my big glasses so i know these work for me let me let me give you guys some you know when they say purr this is what you mean when they say purr i mean which you guys prefer do you prefer this ones or the other ones let me know in the comment section down below. And one of the things that helps with it, that's why we talk about all these things like dressing well, blah, 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 presentation. See, let me tell you, eh, when you package yourself, the places you're going to enter, you'll be shocked. You'll be like, what? You'll be like, is this me? And that's how life is. Buy the right things, put it together in the right way, and boom, you don't even need to break the bank. My females, come closer, let's talk. Let's talk about bras. Yes, you heard. When it comes to bras, I'll speak of the type of bra you need. First off, you need a normal bra. The one you can wear on t-shirts that the bra line will not show. Secondly, you need a push-up bra. So this is so important. For me, like you can see, it has more form. Like when I wear the push-up bra, everything just goes up, right? And then it has a little hole here. So it's not like the other one that has hair covered. So even when I'm wearing some outfits, right? Some can go down a bit here. So this bra is so perfect and it's also strapless. I get all my bras from La Senza, by the way. Another thing I would say is so important are your boob tapes. I've worn these and you wouldn't even know I'm wearing a boob tape. Like it doesn't show. It's silicone, right? And it sticks. The minute I just put it on my nip and like wear a shirt or whatever, it literally stays like this all day. Another important thing are your boob tape. Honey, your boob tapes are important. There are some outfits you wear, you need your boob tape stain. Like all these clothes we're talking about, it's also how you rock it. If you wear the wrong bra on the wrong outfit, it's not gonna slay. It just looks like this and it just rolls on it. I don't know if there are other types of boob tapes. If there are other types, let me know down below. I think I got this for like, what, 5,000 naira or something. Wow, it comes with its own boob tape. So we've come to the end of our video on essentials on what you need in your wardrobe to be a hot girl because this is fashion season. I hope you guys were able to relate, to understand and not get confused about what I just said. Let me know all your questions. I want to talk to y'all.